So if you have Batisera, uh one of the first things you want to do is map your controller if it's not mapped already. So this is these are arcade sticks, obviously, and this is just a standard generic PlayStation 1 controller. So what you want to do is you want to start by hitting the start button and it would open the menu. On a keyboard, you might want to hit the space bar to get to the settings. So then you want to just navigate by scrolling down to controller and Bluetooth settings and then enter into there and then do controller mapping. Just hit OK. It's going to ask you to hold down a button so you can just hold it down. So it's going to ask for East, which is that or that. So you could tell by the highlighted button. See that diamond? It's to the right. So the South would be that button or that button. The North would be the top button and West, which is that and West is that button, which is that. Now it's going to ask you to push start and then select and then D-pad up, down, left, right. And then your left shoulder, which is going to be that. And then your right shoulder, which is going to be that. Uh, it's going to ask for your left analog, which is this. You just push up. This is not connected, but you would naturally push up. When you push up, it moves down one. So since we don't have a left analog on either of these, what we do is we just press and hold any button and it just moves on to the next one. And you just follow the prompts. And then left trigger, right trigger. You won't have that on this if you have only six buttons. Left stick press, you just push that in. Right stick press, you push that in. But in this case, we're just going to press and hold down a button until it goes down one. So hotkey is very important. Here we're going to set it as the select button or a select button. You'd probably have to create a select button, drill into this and add a button. Um, if you have a controller like this and you have extra buttons, like you could use this as a hotkey. But it's very important that you assign a hotkey. Um, what I recommend is if you don't have an extra button, use the select. And that's it. Now you could go back and your controller is fully mapped.